Welcome to In The Shops. Today for Microsoft Train Simulator, we'll take a look at how you can easily replace track textures on your favorite MSTS routes. Note that the following video was recorded without a script, so if you hear tons of ums and ahs, please excuse me and enjoy this tutorial. So the first route we're looking at here is the default Marias Pass. And as you can see, the track texture is pretty bland. It's flat, it doesn't look convincing at all. So we're going to replace that. All right, now for replacing your track textures, there's two options. Either you can download new track textures online or you can borrow track textures from other routes. So I've suggested one that you can download in the description of this video. Here it is right here, so we'll double click on it and open up the folder and it includes a few options. For Marias, we're going to use the wooden sleepers. Now, when you're replacing your track textures, the important files that you need to pay attention to are a clean track 1.ace and a clean track 2.ace. Number one is the ground, which includes your ties and ballast, and number two is the actual rail. So it stands to reason then that you could use one rail texture and a different uh, ground texture. You can mix and match these as you like. A lot of uh, track texture choices, personal preference. So we're going to use these and now you want to navigate to you, your train simulator installation. The default location should be program files, Microsoft games train simulator, or if you've moved it to some other location, then you probably know where you've put it. You want to go to roots. And then Marias is USA 2. And then you click on Textures. We're going to take these two track texture files for, and the snow files and move them in here. First thing we want to do, though, is back our old track textures up. Just to be safe, if we don't like the new ones, we want to be able to go back to the old ones. So I'm going to move these into this backup folder. So there's the original track textures for spring, summer, and autumn, and then these ones are for winter. Once you've done that, then you can go to this zip file, move the summer wooden sleeper textures from the zip into the main textures folder, then go into snow and copy these over as well. Now we're back in the sim and we can see that the track textures have been swapped out and they look a lot nicer, a lot crisper. So that gives you a sense of how you can replace tracks using a file that you've downloaded online. For our next route, we're going to look at how you can replace track textures using textures from another route that you already have installed. So stay tuned. All right, so here we're looking at Paul Charlin Springfield Terminal Route. And it's a great route, and I definitely would love to do a review of it at some point in the future. The track textures for me, they're not bad, but they're not my favorite. I feel like the ballast is a little bit too bright for my tastes. So I'm going to go ahead and replace these textures with track textures from the Milwaukee Road RMD 1 version 2, and we'll see how that turns out. Here I have my two routes open. On the left we have the RMD1 version 2, and on the right we have Springfield Terminal. So we want to take the textures from RMD1 and move them into Springfield Terminal. First step, go to the textures folder for each. Then, like we did with Mariah's Pass, we're going to back up the track textures just in case we don't like the new ones. And while I'm doing this, something that's worth mentioning is that if you find that you are collecting a lot of different track textures and you're having difficulty keeping track of which are which, uh, it's a good idea to have like a directory of different track textures that you can refer to just because different track textures work for different routes. Now that that's done, we're going to go to the RMD version 1 folder, copy the clean track 1 and 2 summer textures, and paste them into the str version 2 directory for Springfield Terminal. Then go into the snow folder for each. 
and do the same thing. Copy and paste. Now we'll go back into the sim and see how it turned out. We're back in the sim and if we take a look around we can see that the track textures have been replaced. They're now brown ballast as opposed to gray. I just like this a little bit better. I think it's a little bit more subdued and blends in with the landscape better. You might think it's completely wrong. You may like the old ones or you may have a different texture in mind. That's great. You know, that's the thing is, as you can see, once you get the hang of this, it's pretty quick and easy to do. So you can kind of, you can be either you can try to match what the prototype had or just go with what you like the look of. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll definitely be trying to do more of these in the shops. Until next time, this is Trainamania and I'll see you at the rail yard.